friends, hello and welcome to another Hornby Magazine video. You join me and Mike once again on Totley Dale and today it's all about duchesses. That's right, yeah, we've got a collection of four of them here on the layout, but there's only one that's really important for this video and that's the model of 6231 Duchess of Athol. I've noticed it's at the front here. Um, what's so special about this one? Well, this is Hornby's centenary edition model in Hornby 00 packaging. Uh, and the reason that's so significant is the Duchess was Hornby 00's first post-war all-new model, which was released in 1947. He had a die cast body for the locomotive, and he had a uh, plastic body for the tender as well. Uh, and what Hornby's done is they've created a brand new version of their 2017 release Duchess, which is what the two of the other three are based on, and done it with a die cast body again. So the other three here, they've all got plastic bodies, plastic tenders, uh, but 6231 at the front, it's got the die cast body, which really makes it stand out. And it's all harking back to those original Hornby double O logos. So the question I want to know is why did Hornby pick this model? Well, they chose 6231 Duchess of Athol because that was the oh. original identity that Hornby Double O put on its 1947 model. So that was a logo number that everyone could buy from Hornby Double O. Uh, and it was quite a significant signature item of the range as well, because it was in there from 1947 until the mid-50s, I believe, as 6231. Because uh, it took a few years for Hornby Double O to catch up and start doing BI with logos in the 50s. And I believe I'm right in thinking this is an extremely limited edition. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's, there's only 500 of these being made in this, in this style with the Hornby Double O packaging and with modeling 6231 Duchess of Athol. Uh, I believe they've all sold already. So there's not there can't be many left at 500. No, it's not I'm, many. I'm, yeah, and I'm not surprised. I mean, it's a very special thing. It's like, you know, the, the whole Hornby Double O candy stripe package is a real, you know, it's an iconic style of Hornby's history. Um, out of all the models that Hornby got on display as part of its centenary when they announced that range to us, uh, it's probably the one I was most excited about. And I believe the, the candy stripe box you mentioned, that's what they used to look like. Yeah, that's the candy stripe styling based on the original boxes. I mean, actually, Hornby's done a really nice job on the art on the box for this as well. Because um, even the interior is reminiscent of the original style of Hornby Double uh, box packaging as well. And what's its relation to the other three we've got on the layout? Okay, so it shares the same chassis. So it's the same chassis and mechanism inside each one of these locos. It uses, as, as far as I understand, the same CAD drawings as well. So the 2017 new tool Duchess that Hornby created, they used the same CAD drawings to develop the new Hornby Double one. But like I said at the beginning, Rather than this body being made out of plastic, it's all made out of die cast metal as well. So it's, it's very heavy. <laughs> it is, yeah. I think it's, it works out something like 130 grams heavier than a standard plastic body. Um, and you really do feel it as well. And it's, it, I really like actually the, the paint finish on the metal as well. It's really nice to see a, a metallic finish underneath paint. And that might sound like an odd thing to say, but the way paint reproduces on plastic versus metal is quite different. Yeah, so it might be hard to see on camera. There's actually a nice sheen to this one as opposed to the others, which yeah. are fairly matte. That's right, yeah. I mean, it may be you know, a slightly different paint mix this as well, but I, I do think some of that is about the metal. And yeah. The metal definitely has that different air of quality about it. So. Must be a bit more like the real thing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, so other features of the Loco, which are standard, it's got an 8-pin decoder socket in the tender. It's got space for a 28 millimeter round speaker in the tender, so identical to the other ones. Um, it's got any end coupling pockets on it. It's got sprung buffers front and rear. And you've also got a full set of separately fitted handrails as well throughout the Loco. Cab interior is fully detailed, cab roof hatch is still open like they do on the all the other ones. Um, it's a really nice package, actually, and, and you know, as a celebration of Hornby's 100th year, uh, I wish I could have got one, really. It's definitely the right logo to do. Yes. I yeah. suppose for all those people who are going to run their trains as opposed to keep them in cabinets, um, you could, like you say, customise them up quite a bit. Well, that's right, yeah. I mean, we had this one, I mean, it's kind of been loaned to us by, by Jenny Kirk, so yeah. it's using this video, and she allowed us to run it as well. Um, and we've had it running on a 14 coach train line now, and it, it just rocks away, it's no problem at all. Well, I hope she allowed us to use it. <laughs> you told me she did. <laughs> uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, Hornby's Duchesses, their, their 2017 line of Duchesses, this is by far and away the most detailed Duchess we've had for a double O gauge so far. Um, far and away different from what the Hornby double O model of the 1940s and 50s was. Um, and a real quality item. And it just shows, again, just how much Hornby's progressed over the last what, 50 years since the original model of 6231 was made. As you can see, the Hornby 00 Duchess runs superbly. We've really enjoyed putting it through its paces here on the Hornby Magazine test track. And you can read our full review in issue 160, that's on sale now. And that's our Hornby Centenary special issue, which celebrates everything about Hornby's 100th anniversary year. And of course, if you want to see more of this, in particular Duchess of Athol, you can see it on Jenny Kirk's channel on her layout, Wee Yard. Yeah, and thank you to Jenny for the loan of the model. I really appreciate that being here for, to take part in the Hornby Centenary issue we've put together. And if you wanted more of our video content, more of Hornby Magazine's video content, you head over to keymodelworld.com, hit the online exclusives tab, and you'll be able to find all our latest videos in there first. 
Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you again.